Catherine. And I'm Sean. And we're the directors of A Brand New You. Uh, I also wrote the scripts. Don't do that. What? One up me. How are you one upping you? Very disrespectful. Uh, but I wasn't one upping you, I was just telling you. This film was our dream. The two of us are partners. Partners in love, in struggle, and in biological reproduction. We can turn around now. We wanted to create something together through our art. I'm a writer, but most of my living is as a story consultant. Catherine is a wedding photographer. Uh, through our work, we help a lot of other people realize their dreams. To make the best film possible. Or to have the most beautiful memories from their wedding. But this was our dream. To be filmmakers and make a movie together. When we decided to make this movie, we knew it needed to be contained and that it needed to be a simple, uplifting, and funny story. That's how Sean came up with the idea of a suicidal widower who can't get over the death of his wife. It, it actually it becomes uplifting when the suicidal widower moves in with a scientist whose career was ruined and uh, who's now an alcoholic who never bathes and rarely puts on pants. There's also the broken-hearted mother whose child was taken away after she fell into a deep depression. Don't forget that. Hilarious! Almost a year ago, we shot the film using our own money. And Manu, Freya, and Clinton's money. Thanks, guys. <laughs> we put in $25,000 to pay for the sets, the actors, the equipment, the food, the gas. And now we're almost there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we're not kidding when we say that we're sprinting to the finish line. The late submission deadline for the Toronto International Film Festival <laughs> is May 24th. <laughs> and the late deadline for Raindance Film Festival is June 1st. That's really close. We have a deadline. Oh, yes, yeah. we do. Yes, we do. Yeah. We need to finish the editing of the film. We need to color correct, put together the musical score, audio mix everything, and have the titles made for the film. We've already come so far. We've shot the film, we've even got the poster designed, and the website is now live. But this is about more than just helping us realize our own personal dream. <laughs> Which will make you awesome enough. By contributing to our post-production fundraiser campaign, you'll also be helping make a revolution. In Canada, even though almost all films receive public funding, only 17% of the films released were directed by women. In terms of visible minority leading characters, the stats are just as bad. In 2010-2011, there were 14 original Canadian TV shows on CBC, Global, and CTV. Of those, only one, Little Mosque on the Prairie, had any visible minority characters in these roles. If you do a search of uh, Latin American film festivals in Canada, you'll see a, a very odd thing. You won't see a single narrative feature film from Canada with a Latino lead. feeling warm and fuzzy about helping out a couple of fabulous people. And getting great incentives like personalized underwear, tickets to the premiere, and downloads of the film. You'll also help make Canadian film look a little bit more like Canada. For all these reasons, and a few more that we'll share with you over the next three weeks, we hope that you will support us. Help us sprint to the finish line. <laughs>